But he still, he does that thing where if he hurts himself, he'll be like, oh, Papa hurt, kiss it. Please, Papa, kiss it. And you go and kiss his bloody open wound. He's like, better. <laughs> Runs off. But one time he asked me to do that when I was pretty high. And I was like, yo, man, imagine you could heal people with kisses. Every doctor would be somebody with some big ass lips. What's the problem, sir? Please show me where it hurts. Are you allergic to Burt's bees before we begin? You just go to an ER. We got a gunshot wound. We're losing him. Gonna have to French him. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, we saved another one, boys. Okay, so people from Burlington may not be familiar with you. How would you describe a Chris Robinson stand-up set? I would describe it as uproariously funny, um, maybe a little bit um, risque. You know, it's not it's not for kids, but there is a lot of parent humor involved in it. I do have children, so I talk a lot about my kids. I was going to ask you about that because you do have two kids now. You're a dad, but you've been doing comedy for a long while. So, like, how did you see your comedy change in between, you know, the single guy out there versus now, like, the dad style of comedy? How did it integrate? Well, it kind of, like, when I was single or, or before even single, I had a lot of, like, sex jokes and stuff like that. And... Now with kids, that has transitioned into just kind of more of like a Louis C.K. style of like making fun of my kids and like, you know, not talking about how amazing they are, but the stuff that <laughs> you off the most about them or um, or funny things that they do. Um, so but it's still a little dirty. Like I, I'll, I'll talk about my kids, but I'll add a little dirty joke in there. Have you seen your audience change as well? And by that, I mean the people that are laughing at your jokes because you are changing the subject matter. Have you find that it's perhaps maybe gotten a little bit older? Um, I've just noticed that I do better now in a lot of shows because I feel like kids humor is something that everyone can relate to. Either someone has a little brother or little cousins or, you know, you have children of your own or you have grandchildren, then... Um, I think it's more of a universal topic. So I feel like my comedy has become more universal with uh, being able to relate to lots of different um, demographics. So, I mean, we are Halton News. We cater to Halton in particular. Burlington, one of our focuses. You're going into Burlington uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, what do you expect from a Burlington audience? Ooh, honestly, I love Burlington audiences. The Burlington Yuck Yucks is probably one of my favorite clubs to perform in because the crowd's always diverse. They're never sometimes in the city. People can be a little bit like, oh, I don't know if I should laugh at that like kind of mentality. But in Burlington, people don't care. You know, they're just out to have fun. Everyone has a nice life. You know, that's why it seems like every time I go to Burlington, I'm like, everyone looks beautiful here. Like, what is this? Like. It's the, it's the Hollywood of Southern Ontario or something. Burlington, the Hollywood of Southern Ontario. And Chris you Robinson. You heard it from me. Yes, Chris Robinson will be taken to the stage March 22nd and 23rd at Yuck Yucks. Chris, thanks so much, man. Best of luck at the gig. Thanks so much, Jason.